Legacies left. Ah, uh, Ronald, hello. Me and the others are going to dinner if you'd like to join us. I prefer to eat alone, thank you. Off on his own again. I get the feeling he's intentionally keeping his distance. Well, I can hardly blame him. It hasn't been that long since Squad F disbanded. Oh, that's Kaigel and Ryan from Squad E, if I recall. Is Ryan holding a bottle of alcohol? What are they doing here? <sighs> How'd it end up like this? You know, Kaigel, every time you sigh, you start looking older. Ah, shut your mouth. I don't need you telling me I'm an old geezer on top of everyone else. And you're older than me! Not by much. If you ask me, we're both getting too old for this shit. Hmm. Well, guess so. I'm getting on in years. There's no denying that. Still, after what happened to Squad F, I think a sigh is the least I owe him. <laughs> I've done my time. If anyone should be gone, it should have been me. Now. Ah, oh, Ryan, this ain't right. Sometimes you have to sacrifice pawns to win a game. We just need to accept it and move on. <sighs> For God's sakes, man, have some tact! I'm right next to you, you cranky old bastard. Don't have to shout. You talk like that, you're gonna hurt someone. Listen, it's that kind of attitude! Say that again. Huh? Wait. You're one of Squad F's guys. Look me in the eyes and say that again, you bastard. That's what we were? Expendable pawns? My friends died for you, and you insult them? Easy there. It's just a figure of speech. The proof is right there in your hand. You sit and drink and joke, while brave sons and daughters lie dead in their- What's going on here? Lieutenant Victor. My apologies. I lost my composure. It won't happen again. Ugh, look what you did. I meant what I said. People die. Man's gotta move on. But, damn it. If I'd known he was listening, I wouldn't have said it like that. Kaigle. Ryan. Allow me to apologize for earlier. Ronald. You're apologizing? No, this one's on us. We were downright insensitive. I was just about to get Ryan to make it right. I'm not a damn kid, Kaigle. I know when I've screwed up. Look, I'm sorry for what I said earlier. Now old Ryan comes off as cold. I'll give you that. You gotta understand, though. He's not a bad guy. He's been through enough war to change a man. By now, he's gotten kind of... jaded, if you get what I mean. Ryan Ford. I've heard stories. A legendary mercenary who shows up in decisive battles to lead his side to victory. There are plenty who see you as some kind of ideal soldier, but you've certainly made a lot of enemies. I've got a job to do. Not my business what other people think of it. Maybe I shouldn't have phrased it like that, but... I meant what I said about moving on. Yes, I realize that. I was the one at fault. I can't let my emotions make me act irrationally. It takes guts to admit that. But I've heard you've been staying away from Squad E, huh? You figure that's rational? <clears throat> I do understand. Squad E isn't directly responsible for... what happened to my team. Still, I... When I remember the battle, I remember hearing my commander cry. I heard her rage, her despair. I can't forgive Squad E that easily. Not when I think of everything they put her through. Were all the F Squad E's like you? That kind of loyalty's hard to come by in war. Squad F was an elite team formed by Commander Victor. Every one of us owed her our lives. That was our pride and privilege. 
We would gladly give our lives if it meant helping her. I see. Still, Ronald, you ought to know one thing. Sounds like Minerva's caught wind of how you're staying away from Squad E. Hmm. After you left last time, she asked us to keep an eye on you. Head bowed, talking all formal. Lieutenant Victor? She... Really? I'm willing to bet she's not happy about getting stuck with Squad E, neither. But the ladies learned to put her duty before her emotions. <laughs> That's the alarm. Guess the Imperials have popped up. We can talk more later. Let's go.